What's up, everybody? I'm Jerry Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today, today, today we're doing something a little different. I know the last couple of weeks we launched a new series called Smooth Talking with DG, but I think what I'm going to call this one is Ayo hey, DG because people are always asking me questions and people want to learn a little bit more about me, about my life, but also too, like some of my thoughts on games, my thoughts on current events. So I say, you know what? Let's do the damn thing. I think like that's a little smooth name, Ayo hey, DG, because we're always saying, Ayo hey, DG, Ayo hey, DG. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is a couple of topics. So I posted a little link on Twitter, not Twitter, on YouTube, asking if you guys ask me some questions. Also, we have some questions in the Discord as well I'm gonna get to answering. But before we get started, I'm gonna say one thing first. One, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Without you, I wouldn't be getting down on this beat right now. So thank you guys for all your support. But cool thing is, we actually got a sponsorship from Loot Crate. And the cool thing about it is if you use my code in Dear Gamer, you get 10% off. So if you participate, I get a little kickback. I'm, what I'm going to be doing as well is every month they're going to send me a box. And the cool thing about it is I'm going to do the box unboxing, look at the cool stuff we get, and after we're done, I'll give it away to somebody. Because me, I like cool stuff, but I felt like this is one way I can give back to the community. You guys are giving me so much. So I say, you know what? Why not do that? So first question I get all the time. Is Anthem trash? Should I buy Anthem? Is it worth it? And I was looking through online, looking at some of the reviews that were out there. And you know, a lot of these people, they don't really play games. They just like play a game for a little bit, get through as fast as they can to make a review because they're trying to get, be first in the market. But I've actually played the game. I did the early, early access on PC with the Origin client. And my thoughts on Anthem are, it's six months away. Anthem, if the current state is not ready. Just by the sure number of bugs you find in the game from no sound, invisible enemies. And I know, I know, I know. A lot of this was supposed to be fixed in the day one patch. And I'm playing pre and post day one patch. A lot of things are the same. But do I enjoy the game? So like, even though the game is buggy, it's not in a good state, there is not that much to it outside of the sheer flying. It feels amazing. Some of the combat feels good, but I use Interceptor. And I like it. I like it because I like games where you grind to get new things, grind to get new different kind of builds. And I'm right now I'm still in the the playing element of the game. I'm trying different things and I'm seeing what works well together with different kind of weapons and attacks. So I'm liking that part of it. What I'm realizing is the more and more you play, the more you realize like wow, this game is really not polished at all. And it's like, God damn, this is a triple A game. It has such different windows of when you can participate by buying the game, the deluxe edition, the regular edition, the game of the year edition, the I love your mama edition. There's all so many different versions of this game that you would think they would put all this marketing power behind it that it'll be complete. And there was an article by the one of the chairmen at EA that said, we didn't push this game back from last year to this year because it wasn't ready. We pushed it back because we didn't want it to compete with Battlefield 5. And I was like, I saw that article as men's load of BS, bro. We know damn well this game wasn't ready because what we're playing today, guys, like, I'm sorry, it, it's not it's not good. It's not good at all. It's fun. I've already invested my money in it, so you say, you know what, let me get my money's worth and at least play where it is so I can look back six, front to, six months from now and say, damn, this game was trash in the past, but now it's really, really good. So I'm hopeful for it because it's cool. It, got some, it has some kinks, just like For Honor, just like uh, all those other games that had a rocky launch. It might, it might pull through. It might come around, but we'll see. But so far right now, like I give the game a solid 6.5. It got some opportunities, like the loading screens, the some of the controls, the tracking on some of the attacks are a little wonky. It's like it's, it's it has some opportunity. The NPCs have no character, no life. They just stand there. They don't say nothing else. It's like I want a little bit more. I don't. I still don't like how you walk or run very very slow in the, in the first area of the game where your little hub is like i hate that so we'll see how it goes like right now i'm playing it i'm having a good time it's fun but like there's some things that kind of irritate me oh my god the number one thing that irritates me the most is why would you put that stupid tomb quest right in the middle of the story I thought it was like a side quest, but no, it was the actual, I needed to do that to continue on with the game. And I'm like, cool, this is so annoying. But then I look at it, there's no goddamn waypoint. So if I need to go way over here to, to a cave, I don't know what direction I'm going. I need to go farm materials. I'm literally gonna fly around this huge ass map, not knowing where I'm going because of, there's no waypoint. Like, little things like that, please. 
just add a waypoint also add a ps4 control support i mean xbox is cool but like I'm, I, I love sony i love the way it feels i mean look at this color it's, it's just it's just beautiful like i want to use this bad boy so add support please but enough about anthem so you guys ask me some questions let's go ahead and get to the questions Everyone wants to learn a little bit more about DG, so I'm gonna go through, read them off, and I'm reading names as well, so you guys know who are the people on the channel asking me these questions. First one comes from Ender. What are the future plans of the channel? The future plans of the channel are to take over the world. I'm serious. Well, the future plans of the channel for me that I'm still gonna do let's plays. I like doing gameplay videos. I feel like I'm. I don't necessarily want to dive into competitive gaming because it's not really my thing. I've always been a type of, I like playing that game, it's fun. I like getting better at the game, but I don't want to be like competing in tournaments and like doing all stuff like that. It's like, I just like having a good time, keeping it smooth, playing some games. So I'm excited for the upcoming games I'm going to be playing on the channel. Sekiro's going to be good. Cyberpunk's going to be good. Devil May Cry is looking pretty good as well. So I'm excited. We got some stuff to hold us over for a little while. So for, as of right now, I'm gonna continue to do videos like this on the channel because I think they're fun, they're chill, something a little different, spices up a little bit. But also too, like, I'm gonna keep continue to do like what I enjoy. And a lot of times people are like, hey DG, play this game, play this game, play this game. Why how can you don't do this? Because I don't like it. For me, like, with my time, I'm very limited on time. So I like playing what I like. If I don't like it, I won't play. If I don't like it, I'll stop playing it, and that'll be the end of it. Because, like, I can't wake up and do something I hate and, like, put it out for you guys. You guys will be able to tell if I don't like it at all. So, that's my stance on where I'm at now in the future of the channel. Next one comes from the Lung Boy Young Leo. When do I want to get beat on Smash? Boy, we can go any day. It doesn't matter. I'm ready. Ender said, how does someone not name <coughs> Cough Cough works for mod status? Really, for mod status on the channel, you just gotta be active, you gotta be consistent, you gotta come out. You can't just come out for one game like, oh, I love Smash, I only come out when you play Smash, or I only come out when you play For Honor. You gotta be a ride or die. You guys know who the ride or dies on the channel are, because they're always there regardless of what game we're playing, and those are the people that make mods. <laughs> Miss 2 asks, what's the best solution for a cold? If you have a cold, you gotta stay your ass in bed, sleep, drink a lot of fluids, and get some rest. Next question comes from the Happy Fox. Do you like furries? <laughs> I don't know what the obsession are with furries. Like I, I, I don't, I don't get it. But like, look, one thing I realized on the internet and on YouTube, there's an audience for everything. There's a fan or enthusiast for everything. So, if furries your thing, hey, do what you enjoy. Don't let nobody judge you. For me, it's not for me, but I know my boy B Dog loves them and Leo as well. They got a picture together. Of them. It's, it's in the Discord. I think it's pretty cute. So I don't like them, but like, you know what? Hey, I'm not one to judge or do your thing. So Nate asks, Am I going to play Division 2? So I played Division 1 and it was. It was cool. For me, I'm not really huge on shooters. I'm always big on like slashing games like Dark Souls, Braun, or Zelda, like games along those lines. Like, I try it from time to time. Like, I guess like Anthem's kind of a shooter, but it's more of a ability base. The only shooter I really, really got into, like, accidentally was Fortnite. But other than that, like, I don't think I'll pull, pull the trigger on it based on what I'm seeing so far. It might change. When the game comes out, I might pick it up or try it, try it out somewhere and fall in love with it. As of right now, I think I'm just chilling on it and see how things go. Good old Ben asks, is For Honor boring? I don't want to say For Honor is boring. I would say if you have if i told you to eat pizza every single day for breakfast like at what point would you get tired of it so like is it boring or are you just playing it too much so i think for me like i play the game a lot a lot that's why i love playing different games on the channel i play for honor when i record outside of that i might play matches here and there but for the most part i like playing different games on the channel spice things up give variety like stimulate you in different ways and stimulate myself in different ways to keep the concept exciting you know six ask what do you think about battle royale is a trend good for gaming man i feel like man it sucks like it's cool if it's its own separate little market but the thing about it is Battle Royale has literally sweeped the gaming industry because one, Fortnite made it free. So anybody and everybody could dive in. There was no limitation, no barriers to entry. So everybody jumped on it and they played it. And one, it was an optimized well game. Like it was very simple, straightforward, but like I feel like battle royales are cool. But it's one thing I hate is the copycat, the me too error that comes out of it. So someone does something really good, one company makes it, then all of a sudden everybody's like, oh damn, that, that company's popping off. I want to pop off too. Next they copy it. And the thing about it, they don't really improve on the formula. They just do the exact same thing and expect them to get the same results. 
That's why it's interesting because EA has released Apex out of nowhere. And it's like Apex is literally sweeping the nation. 25 million users in the first was it 10 hours? It was crazy. Like Apex is cool, but every single person is making a battle royale. I think it's too much when Call of Duty literally removed their campaign mode to add a battle royale instead. It's like, whoa, like things have gone too far. Everybody's literally just jumping on whatever's popular versus staying true to themselves. And for me, like, if you're a battle royale from the start and you do it very, very well, then hey, do your thing. But if you're trying to do a me too thing, you're like a single player game, also you add battle royale, like in Red Dead, it's like, come on, man. Don't sell your soul that much. Like, be true to yourself. So, six, that's another question. As 2019 progresses and new games are revealed, how do you feel the new games will improve the quality of games? Do you think new games have a much wow factor or is there a standstill at the moment? So new games have a wow factor. So, it varies. Depends on what you mean by wow factor. If you mean like good storytelling, there's always a move for improvement in storytelling. If you're talking about gameplay mechanics, like, I feel like there's just so much you can do in terms of like, how your hands can operate i feel like people can switch it up like the building aspect in fortnite revolutionary change the world the inv invader element of dark souls being able to have someone invade your world and f you up while you're just trying to go through your story and fight a boss revolutionary so i think little innovations like that are still out there we just haven't like, thought about it yet it just takes one person to think a crazy idea and see how it goes graphics graphics are always going to improve over time i think like one thing that games are really trying to dive into nowadays is how do you change how do you make a movie that's interactive like still have storytelling as good as a movie but interactive and i feel like that's where games are really powerful and come in comparison to movies movies are great you get a story you get a character development you see behind the scenes you're like oh wow i'm really invested in this person but it's different when you can play the person as well and it's so crazy because i know b dog and everybody's telling me i should play the walking dead season one because it's so emotional it's so good and it's like damn that's a video game but like they're already pushing the envelope taking to the next level so i'm i'm so excited for gameplay a lot of games have opportunity to change things and take it to the next level so we have to wait and see how things go and this final question is do i think nintendo switch is let down so when i think about my nintendo switch like i loved it i, I it was fun playing like i feel like i haven't that much haven't had that much fun playing a game console in such a good time because when i think of nintendo switch i don't think the competitive or try hard it's just like hey this is fun this is cool colorful let's just have a good time like the games i have on the switch are smash which was fun um zelda breath of the wild which is amazing we still gotta finish the let's play of that one but also pokemon let's go pikachu a lot of people are like oh po pokemon let's go pikachu like really but like i had so much fun playing that game and it was just because we were just hanging out, chilling, catching Pokemon, getting the name of other Pokemon, like Young Peaks, Master Squirt, <laughs> Base God. I miss all my Pokemon. So I feel like I haven't, I don't have that many titles for the Switch as far as like what's coming out. And I've been away from Nintendo for like 15, 20 years. So it feels good to jump back in. As far as their titles, the benefit I feel I have by having multi-platforms like PC, PlayStation, Xbox is I don't necessarily need to give everything to the Nintendo. I can play that one game on it, cool, and I'll go back to the PC, play that game, cool. Oh, another game came out on Switch, cool, I'll bounce back and forth. I feel like it's an opportunity when you're just dependent on one console. And I know a lot of people aren't as fortunate can get all multiple consoles, get a job. I'm just joking, if you're young, it is what it is. But I like that fact that, for me, it serves the purpose of enjoyment. But, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little Q&A. Give you guys a little update, what I thought about Anthem, a little bit about me. I'm gonna have more questions to answer in the Discord next week. Maybe I'll maybe I do this like every other week. I do a smooth talking weekly. Uh, one of these every other week, uh, AODG. And also, we'll start doing some Loot Crate unboxing. So, my family. I'm excited for the future of the channel. I'm excited for the future of YouTube. I'm excited for the future of gaming. It's my family. Let's have one hell of a year. Till next time, my family. Dear gamers, signing out.